Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ron with CO2 Free and I wanted to give a quick reaction to the Ford Lightning that Ford announced this evening. And I want to see how it compares to the Tesla Cybertruck. So let's take a look at what Ford said this evening. So it looks like Ford is going to try to compete with Tesla on that dual motor uh, level with a 300 miles of range. Uh, I'm surprised that that was the most range that they offer tonight. So their pricing also was something that stood out to me. The advertised price was starting at 39,000, uh, which is similar to Tesla's. But then if you look at the fine print, it says it goes all the way up to 90,000. So there's a $50,000 uh, spread there, but your mileage doesn't change. They only advertised the 300 mile range. So I'm really curious to see uh, how they're going to break down the different price points. A uh, couple of things that stood out was the um, option. They said the 15 and a half center screen. They said you may be able to get it. So there's probably part of the $50,000. Uh, 10,000 pound towing capacity. So again, that's right in line with the Tesla Cybertruck dual motor. They did say it's going to be four by four all the time with four drive modes. I think that's another way of saying all wheel drive in all four drive modes. Now, one of the things that really impressed me, and I'm guessing this is going to be another add on, they claim that you'll be able to power your entire house for three days. I find that very difficult to wrap my mind around, but we shall see. They also said there's 9.6 kilowatts of power available at 21 different charge points and 11 outlets around the vehicle. They also referenced the Ford Pass charging network. Uh, to me, that's probably gonna be the same thing that GM advertises. You have access to the larging, largest charging network that's gonna be you know, Electrify America, EVgo, et cetera. I doubt Ford is doing like Tesla and in charging or installing their superchargers across the US. Uh, as far as appearance, uh, from what I could see, it looks like Ford went with the safe design. Looks like it's just a new F-150 uh, that has a frunk instead of an engine. So I was glad to see the frunk. Uh, but again, it looked pretty safe, uh, where Tesla looks like they're going after the radical design. So now let's see how that compares to the Tesla. Okay, so let's talk about price. Tesla is offering you three different models. You can get the single motor for 39,900 the dual motor all wheel drive the single motor is only rear wheel the dual motor of 49,000 and the tri motor of 69,900 now let's look again at what those get you single motor tow capacity is 250 miles of range 7,500 pounds of towing and 0 to 60 in less than six and a half seconds if you upgrade to the next dual motor you're looking at almost $50,000 that gets you 300 miles of range, 10,000 pounds of towing capacity, and a 0 to 60 of less than 4.5. And finally, the tri motor, you're looking at 500 miles, 14,000 pound towing capacity, and 0 to 60 in less than 2.9 seconds. So, what makes this difficult is Ford, with their pricing structure being so unknown right now. All we know is you can get the cheapest version for 39,000, which we all know no one's probably going to want to buy that, all the way up to 90,000. What I appreciate about Tesla is they gave you three price points knowing exactly what you get at those three price points, where Ford is saying, "Eh, it's going to be somewhere between 40 and $90,000." But the only thing that didn't change among the price ranges for Ford was 300 miles of range. So unless Ford plans to up those ranges as the MSRP uh, goes up, I think Tesla is going to dominate them when it comes to head-to-head -head on the truck. Well, there you have it. Did Ford impress you tonight with the Lightning? If you had ordered a Cybertruck or now you're thinking about switching to Ford, or you like me, you want to kind of wait and see. Uh, regardless, thanks for watching. I hope that you found some value in this video. If you did, please hit subscribe. Hit the bell to notify you when um, I upload a video. And eventually I'm going to be giving some swag out. So if you do subscribe, make sure you put in the comments, subscribe. Thanks again for watching. You have a good night.